a cell containing 92 chromatids at metaphase of mitosis would, at its completion, produce two nuclei, each containing how many chromosomes? So there's a lot of words here. Let's try to break this question down before we look at the answers. Remember during mitosis that chromosomes contain DNA, and we're gonna be looking at whether or not they contain one or two chromatids. So a chromosome that only has one chromatid might look like this, while a chromosome that has two chromatids might look like this. Each of these structures, this one and this one, are both called chromosomes. This chromosome here only contains one chromatid, while this chromosome here contains two chromatids. To count the number of chromosomes, all you gotta do is you gotta count the number of centromeres or their middle. So there's one centromere here, and there's one centromere here. Now, since the cell is at metaphase, there are going to be 46 chromosomes, not 92, because these chromosomes have two chromatids instead of one. At metaphase, they're gonna have two chromatids in a chromosome. After metaphase, during anaphase, the chromatids are going to split apart, and they are both going to be chromosomes, but now only containing one chromatid. So let's go back to the question. They're gonna produce two nuclei, each containing how many chromosomes? not chromatids. So we're looking at starting with 92 chromatids. So we're starting out 92 chromatids, but 46 chromosomes. Now we're going to have in each cell still 46 chromosomes, but now there's only going to be 46 chromatids. So in this case, this question is kind of confusing because we're going from chromatids to chromosomes. However, in each cell, the nuclei is going to contain 46 of those chromosomes, which is D. Because remember, each of those chromosomes will now only have one chromatid, unlike when they had two chromatids at the beginning of metaphase. 